know what to order? Well, here's what not to order. These chain restaurant workers reveal 10 menu items people should never order. Well done steak. She orders a, a steak well done and then complains when the damn thing comes out and it's too dry. Steak is a versatile meat, able to be cooked in different ways to varying degrees of readiness and with different sauces, spices, and toppings. Steak is great for a variety of situations as well, whether you're out for an expensive business dinner or just enjoying a casual backyard barbecue with family and friends. People have all sorts of different tastes when it comes to how they like their steak cooked. Some people are extremely picky when it comes to their steak. Leaving it on the grill for a second too little or too long can ruin the steak for those extremely picky steak eaters. This steak is medium rare. I asked for it medium. If you're one of those people that prefers their steak to cook for way too long, you're probably better off avoiding ordering it from a restaurant, unless it's a high-end steakhouse where every cut of meat served is of top quality. If you're at a mid-range restaurant and you choose to order your steak well done, you run the risk of being served the lowest quality steak available, likely the one from the back of the fridge that's been sitting there for a questionable amount of time. So while you may be tempted to order a steak well done, done when dining out, you may want to skip that idea and order something else. House Made Chili Best before this date. After this date, not the best, but the still pretty good. House Made Chili may sound like a delicious home-style meal that's extremely tempting to try when out at a restaurant. A favorite among many, chili recipes have evolved over the years to include all sorts of ingredients and spices. Restaurants may try to make their chili appealing by using words such as hearty and filling. But if the House Made Chili is the special of the day, you might want to skip it and move on to something else. Specials are already a questionable choice because they're typically the items that the kitchen wants to get rid of, usually consisting of items that are close to their expiry date. With chili, this is even more true, as meat that may taste a little bit off due to it being old can easily be disguised with the heavy taste of the spices and sauce typically used in chili. Liar! Putting chili on the menu as a special of the day can sometimes be a sneaky way to get rid of older ingredients without simply throwing it all in the garbage. Order the chili special special at your own risk. Soup. No soup for you! While you can definitely order soup if that's what you really want to eat, you may want to check with the kitchen first to see if it's actually made in-house or not. Restaurants may use wording on the menu that is purposefully vague on whether or not it is actually made by the chef in the kitchen or not. A lot of places will have soup on the menu, but the soup tends to be either canned or bagged and frozen, meaning you end up paying restaurant prices for pre-made soup that you could have just bought at the grocery store for much less. This type of soup is also not usually the best quality, which is fine when you're paying a couple of bucks at the store for the soup, but when you're out at a restaurant paying over $5 for soup, you would at least expect it to be handmade from fresh ingredients. A lot of people do not really think to ask. They just assume that the soup served at a restaurant must be made by the kitchen staff, but a lot of places take shortcuts to increase profit margins and also save time, as they can just microwave or warm this soup up in a big batch and call it a day. It's cheaper. So unless you're absolutely sure that the soup is freshly made in the restaurant's kitchen, you would be better off ordering something else from the menu. Free samples of packaged goods. I, I don't like this. Yes, the flavor. But it's free, so I will continue to chew. Getting free things always seems like a good thing. I mean, who doesn't want something that doesn't actually cost anything? Tell me about it. Free samples are a fantastic way for stores of all kinds to draw people in and make them want to stay and make a purchase, even if the free sample itself is not anything too unique. Whether you use it for yourself or pass it on to someone else, free samples are never really refused by anyone, and you may even find your next favorite product by trying out new things. But you may want to think twice if you're offered a free sample at a restaurant and it's something prepackaged. There's a reason they're offering it free and not selling it, and usually that reason is not out of the goodness of their hearts. A lot of restaurants will also attach a free sample of an item onto another menu item, and usually that's because the menu item does not sell as well as they would like, so adding a freebie increases the odds of people ordering it. Typically, restaurants only hand these kinds of free samples out when the packaged product is expired, expiring soon, or is something that simply just isn't 
good and didn't sell, so they want to get it out of their store. While you may still be tempted to take these free samples, do so at your own risk. Show your support by hitting that like button. We do appreciate it. Now, let's keep going. The show goes on! Avocado. Here, have an avocado. Yay! Avocados have become a hugely popular food to eat in recent years. They're super healthy for you and can be added to just about anything to enhance the flavor. Unfortunately, they do not keep for very long after being cut or prepared. They'll turn brown and mushy quickly, and the flavor will be completely off, as well as the texture. Most restaurants prep their avocados in the morning and do not prep any more throughout the day unless they happen to run out, meaning that those who order or anything with avocado later in the day are going to get the old ones that have been sitting and turning brown. Oh. Hold that thought. Unless the kitchen can guarantee that the avocado for your dish has been freshly cut to use specifically for your meal or the dish was freshly made recently, it's probably best to skip those avocado menu items when dining out later in the day. Drink garnish. Wait, that's a garnish. You're not supposed to eat that. What? Ordering any drinks that come with a fresh citrus or fruit slice on the rim or in the drink itself can be a bit of a risk. This may seem confusing, but there is a good reason behind why this is risky. Many times, these sliced fruits have been sitting out in the open for an extended period, often completely uncovered as well. Things can drop in the dishes if they're uncovered, or insects can find their way to the sweet meal offered by the uncovered fruit as well. Aside from the fact that these fruit slices are not usually properly refrigerated or covered. A lot of times when staff are in a rush, they'll often forego using gloves or tongs to pick up the fruit slices and will grab them with their hands without having washed them. They could have touched countless things, including other food, dirty cups left behind by other diners, or even handled money just before touching those fruit slices with their bare hands. Yeah. Ew. This is enough to turn most people off of ordering a garnish with their drink. Unfortunately, even if you watch your server use gloves or tongs, that doesn't mean others have, and those fruit slices may already be contaminated by bacteria. You're much better off asking to skip the fruit slice or other garnish, as there's no real guarantee that they've not been exposed to who knows what. Secret menu. Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? A lot of people have probably heard of Starbucks and their fabled secret menu items. It's been written about all over the internet, and posts about these secret menu items have been around for a few years now. But the thing with these supposed secret menu items is they're not actually menu items at all. These are recipes that have just been made up and passed around, whether they were made by Starbucks baristas themselves or by customers who decided they wanted something specific and unique. But these so-called secret menu Menu items are the bane of Starbucks employees. It's too much! It's too much! Aside from the fact that the employees hate having to try and decipher what these secret menu items might be, you're also not likely to get the same flavor and consistency every time you order it. And this is because of the simple fact that there is no actual recipe to follow. Normally, with drinks from places like Starbucks, there is an exact recipe set into place to ensure every time a drink is made, it's consistent. With these made-up secret menu drinks, there's absolutely no consistency, and the recipe is just estimated or can change after being passed around from person to person, with the result not being what was expected at all. Next time you take a trip to Starbucks, for the sake of everyone, stick to ordering items that are actually offered on the menu. One-off items. Our special today is coho salmon. Sounds on disgusting. Do you have chicken fingers? Most restaurants have something that they specialize in, whether it's Mexican Mexican food, seafood, or something else altogether. Usually, they try to have some sort of consistent style when it comes to what they serve. This helps the restaurant serve food with the best quality possible without having to have too many different types of ingredients on hand. The more ingredients that a restaurant has to keep on hand, the more likely they will have to throw things out, which is equivalent to throwing out money. They also do this to make sure their chefs can cook top-notch meals 
in a certain style rather than just be average in different styles. So if you head to your local sushi place and you see a hamburger on the menu, you should probably just avoid it. It's much better to stick to what the restaurant focuses on. Trust me when I say this. The restaurant is more likely to produce quality food because it's what they're set up to make, rather than attempting to make something that is completely different from anything else on the menu. Even if the chef is perfectly capable of preparing different types of food, you're usually getting subpar ingredients because the restaurant may not use those ingredients in any of their usual dishes, meaning they will probably take less care to make sure they're well kept and in good quality. Popcorn butter. I know you like extra butter. Popcorn with extra butter is a treat for most people, whether you're heading to the movie theater to catch the latest release or to the stadium to catch a game. Popcorn with added butter is a favorite among many. In fact, a lot of people actually go to the movie theater just to get the popcorn, and there are even places where you can order movie theater popcorn from food courier services. That's how much it's loved. While this overly salty and greasy snack is extremely tempting, it may be best to avoid it the next time you go out. The butter warmers used are very rarely cleaned in a lot of places, meaning the butter contained within is just sitting in what could be weeks of grime and grease that has never been cleaned out. Aside from that, they tend to not be sealed completely, which means all sorts of bugs and bacteria can get in there and take a little swim through the butter before it goes on your popcorn. It's not often that employees pop open the top of the dispenser to make sure all is well, so if a bug gets in there after the initial check to see how full the warmer is, it could be floating in the butter for the entire rest of the day. Ah! You might be better off choosing a different overpriced snack, of which there are usually plenty of options. Your best bet is something prepackaged, because at least you know that factories are held to higher cleanliness standards than movie theaters and stadiums typically are. Ice cream. I I think I'd like a hot fudge sundae. Ice cream is a popular dessert option and has been for many years. So while it's fine to order ice cream at a restaurant if it's served as a dessert topping to go with something else, it's not suggested to order ice cream on its own, unless it's handmade or something like gelato. When it comes to ordering ice cream at restaurants, aside from soft serve found at fast food outlets, you're usually just getting scoops of regular supermarket style ice cream. Unacceptable! In that case, you could have just bought a whole container of it for the same or similar price as you will pay at the restaurant for a single serving of it. A serving of ice cream from a restaurant on its own is not worth the cost, unless you really, really like ice cream and have to have it right that second. You're better off stopping at your local ice cream shop on the way home, or you probably already have the same ice cream in the freezer at home. So save your money and choose something else off of the dessert menu that's actually made in the restaurant. Rather than just scooped from the same supermarket ice cream container you can get on your own. Think about it.